Hello everybody. I'm Skullslayer. One, two, three. And I just made a redstone trap. I think I can make people fall for it. Three diamonds. Okay. Ooh, free diamonds. Oh! Alright, hey guys, call Sarah123 here, and I'm alongside with. I don't know where Shapeshift fun. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus, it scared me. Um, <laughs> so, as you saw this trap, you push the button and they fall. But, so, here we go, look at the redstone. Really simple, actually, for what it does. Yeah, just get a little look around. I mean, yeah, it's not really uh, seamless, but seamless, but it's flush with the ground, so that's nice. So let's start with the tutorial, right? Now you need a block, any type of block, a sticky piston, redstone, redstone repeater, a redstone torch, and a button. So start off with a four by five area I believe yeah it should be five across four going this way like so and you want to get like a little ledge like this so this could be great for the side of a mountain maybe and then, move. And then you're gonna place your button right down the middle so you want these two blocks right here to be the ones that fall so not the one right there by the button but the one just like over there so you want to place your pistons so you're gonna place two pistons, uh, you're gonna place two pistons here, uh, you're gonna place like four pistons like that, and then you're gonna dig these two blocks up and you're gonna place two pistons like that, and then place your blocks like that. Next you're gonna go under the button, which should be right here, and dig two blocks under it, like so, and then get rid of that button, or block, and place the uh, redstone dust right there with a torch and then place a block there and redstone. Next, you're going to go to the bottom parts of the pistons and place two blocks there and two repeaters set to three ticks or four. But yeah, you can do four, it doesn't matter. And then place two more blocks behind those with two pieces of redstone dust there and then just connect all this up so it looks like that. So as you can see, your blocks have extended so whenever you push the button, it makes it fall. But now we need to make this flush with the ground. Alright, so. So. So you place those two blocks there, and you're good. So, place a block there, and a block here, and a block here. So it makes like a little diagonal thing there, and another one there. So what you're going to do is place uh, redstone dust there, redstone dust there. And then you want to you want to connect this like that. So you want to make sure that your redstone dust actually leads into the block like that. Don't make it like this, or else it's not going to work. Make it like that. So, like that. You ha it has to be like that. And then, just connect your redstone up. And the last thing you have to do is connect your redstone from this power source to this. This seems to be your ass only because of my... OCID. And then you're going to place a repeater here because it's not going to carry through. And voila! You got your very, very own Fallen for Diamond trapped. Trap. 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 <laughs> and you can put lava or just a hole where you can kill your victims there. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Give it a double thumbs up if you like shapeshift present shapeshift presents. <laughs> like she has no presents. I'm inside of you. <laughs> oh, you are. I have your conscience. Oh, she's inside of me with spectator mode. But yeah, like I said before, comment, like, subscribe, and um, that's it. Goodbye. Oh, I hope this. Gangnam Style.